Hello LGs, ladies and gents, this is the lady and I'm back with Wig Talk. I wanted to come in and just go over with you guys again the composition of wigs. This is one of the vital parts of ordering wigs and it's very important to know the textures. You know, the if you're ordering human hair wig, if you're ordering a human hair wig, it's important to know textures all right so we're going to just go into that a little bit more in depth on this on on this composition of wigs all right so if you're interested then of course continue to watch now i wanted to come back and just um and i i'm sorry i have my window open so you guys gonna hear the little bumping noise those are my blinds okay uh, so I apologize for the noise, but I don't have air conditioning here in California. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have to use the windows, all right? And anyway, sometimes we, as the consumer, speak a different language than, than the wig sellers or the wig makers do, okay? And so I wanted to make sure that we are talking the same language when we, you know, order our wigs or put in for an order of a wig. Um, hair type. Hair type really is about the origin of the hair. Do you want Brazilian hair? Do you want, do you want Malaysian, Mongolian, uh, Peruvian, okay? Uh, those European, okay? Those are the hair types that you can order. And it doesn't necessarily mean that that is the origin that they're going to have, all right, or that they're going to actually send you, but supposedly those are the origin, those are the origin hair types that you can choose from. I can't guarantee that every time I say I want a, a European or a Peruvian hair type, that's what I'm getting, but that's what I'm ordering and that's what they say they are selling okay because who really knows the difference between an Indian origin hair type and a Peruvian I mean really do you really know you can tell the difference because I can't and I've been wearing these units for five years all right so I want to say that the majority of the hair types that you're going to get especially from those uh, vendors uh, in China they're gonna have either Chinese hair or Indian hair all right those are and and maybe even Brazilian I did I did I mention Brazilian hair I think I did but Brazilian hair those are the three most common types of hair okay so once you get the hair type down that you're going to be ordering, the next thing is the texture of the hair. Now the texture of the hair is not an ethnicity. It's not an ethnicity. It is a, a process. It's something that they do to those hair types to mimic the, um, the texture that you're requesting. So if I said I wanted a Brazilian hair in a body wave, then that means that they're going to get a Brazilian hair unit, okay? They're going to get Brazilian hair, and then they're going to process it so that it has this body wave. Okay. So, again, the texture could be body wave. It could be a natural straight. It could be a yucky, a yucky straight. It could be a kinky curly, all right? Um, Italian yaki, those are your textures, okay? I was getting them confused when I first started wearing hair, wearing these wigs. I was thinking I could get a Brazilian body wave with yaki straight hair. They were like, um, do you want body wave or do you want yaki straight? Because in their minds, in their language, Body wave and yaki straight are textures, two different kinds of textures, and so you cannot have a body wave yaki straight hair tech, you know, unit. All right, 
So it is, has to be one or the other. My thing was I wanted the hair to look like African-American hair in a body weight. Okay, this unit that I'm wearing right now is a Brazilian Yaki straight unit that they put curls in it for me to make it look like a body weight, to style it like a body weight. Styling and textures are totally different. Don't, they don't really style these wigs for you. You have to get them styled. Most of the time, okay, most of the time these companies that we buy wigs from, they send us the hair origin, the texture you want, the length you want, and the color you want. But they don't style the wigs for wigs, okay? The only ones that come pre-styled are your synthetic wigs, That's all right? That's the reason they just send you a universal unit that you can then go in and have styled by your stylist. Or if you're uh, fortunate enough to know how to do it yourself, you're more than welcome to style your wig once you get it, all right? All right, so... I, this is pretty much what I where I want to stop because I don't want to you know overload you guys with um, a lot of the, you know everything at one time. So, I just wanted to make sure we are on the same page, speaking the same language about the hair textures and the hair types and all of that kind of stuff when you're you know ordering or. And, you know, in the process of ordering a wig. You may, hopefully this was clear as the mud for you guys, but if not, you know, if you didn't understand it or you need some more information, then of course leave the comments uh, in the description bar below. I will try to um, clarify it a little better without all the noise and distractions going on. But hopefully you guys get it. And um, if not, I have no problems coming back and going over it some more because, like I said, it's very important to know the textures, the hair types, and um, the compositions of these. My wigs. next wig talk, we'll go over the cap sizing, all right? Uh, and that is basically for those who are doing custom-made units. And when you're doing a custom-made unit, you definitely, definitely want to make sure you measure your head properly because most of the time on custom-made units they are not returnable so that's coming up on the next wig talk thank you guys for watching thank you guys for watching listening and commenting please subscribe to my channel and i will see you on the next video this is the lady and that is the lady of lace signing off for now you guys be blessed and a blessing bye bye